Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to map your Google Drive on your computer with a letter so that you can explore it through Windows Explorer. Uh, for this we're going to use our clone. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is open a browser, search for console.developer.google.com. Once you're logged in, first thing you want to do is click on the projects and we want to create a new project. I'm going to call it YouTube. You can call it G Drive, whatever you want to name. Click on create. And it is being created. Here we're going to select our project that we just created. It is YouTube. And let's click on Enable APIs. Search for Drive. Click Enter. Google Drive API is what we want. So I'm going to enable that. It's going to take about 5 10 seconds. So once this is enabled, we're going to go to OAuth consent screen. Click on external, click on create. We're going to call this app as our clone support email could be any email. Uh, this would be your Gmail or I think that's the only option you get. Developer contact information can also be the same email address. So add that. Save and continue. And save and continue one more time. And test user, we have to add our uh, email address here as well. 123email.com. Uh, Oops, I don't think that gets saved. So add, save and continue. And that should be it. So then we're going to click on credentials, create credentials, OAuth client ID, application type, I'm going to say desktop app, call it our clone, click on create. And it is going to generate a client ID and client secret. Uh, you want to make sure you don't share it with anybody. Keep it in a safe place. Uh, this is what we're going to give to our clone uh, so that it can connect to your Google Drive. If somebody gets access to this, it is going to, uh, they can pretty much access your Google Drive. So make sure you save it somewhere safe. Uh, I have, I'm showing it on the screen, but this will be deleted after the video is up on YouTube. So. Uh, if somebody tries to log in, it's not going to work. So anyways, I'm going to copy this to our notepad. Copy. Okay, so I have it copied here like that. And I'm going to click OK. So the setup part on the developer console is complete. Now, the next step we need is we want our clone. So we're going to download our clone, our clone download. And you want 64 bit. Click on save. We also want another program called WinFSP. Open WinFSP, click on download. Download WinFSP installer. Save. WinFSP is downloaded. You will install WinFSP. And then we're going to configure our clone. WinFSP is a pretty straight up install. You would download WinFSP installer, click open, and next, 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 next would be it until it's finished. So uh, I already have it installed, so it's giving me repair options. So I'm not going to do it again, but it's pretty simple. Uh, once that is completed, you want to open command prompt, run as administrator, and Let's go to our downloads folder. 
we have we already have our clone extracted here and we also need an SSM uh, this is basically uh, a non-sucking service manager it allows a service or program to run as a Windows service so that you don't have to run it every time it would run it during your uh, log on or when, when your computer starts up so you don't have to manually mount your map drive or Google Drive uh, every single time uh, you want to run it so we are going to need that so NSSM you can click on download so right here so I'm gonna download NSSM download it's gonna download a zip file open folder extract NSSM 2.224 Win64 and copy this file. We're going to take this file to our rclone folder and keep it with our rclone.exe. The next thing you want to do is copy the path from here. Open the administrator command prompt that we previously had open. We're going to do cd. Go to the directory. Type rclone config. As you can see, it has created a new configuration file at this location. Uh, this is where it is going to store all your information. So we're going to go ahead and create our first remote. So I'm going to click N here to create a new remote. I'm going to call it G drive. Enter. I'm going to enter 18 here. Number 18 is for Google Drive, as you can see right here. Enter client ID. I'm going to bring that client ID that I previously had copied. I'm going to copy the secret, paste it here, click on full access by clicking number one. Leave this default again. Default. I'm going to click yes because I have browser access. I'm using a graphical user interface for my OS. But if you're connected to a Linux machine or Ubuntu server, uh, via SSH and you don't have uh, a browser window available, uh, you can click no or N and uh, follow the prompts uh, to get the authentication code. Uh, for this video, I'm going to click yes as we have it available. So I'm going to click yes. It's going to open a browser window and it's going to authenticate you with your Google account. So select the right account. Click on continue. Click on continue one more time. And you should see a success message like this here. Once this is set a success, uh, we would go back into our administrator window. And we're going to click no. We don't want to share team drives. We just want our main Google Drive to be accessible. No. And then click yes. So as you can see, we, can, we have G Drive remote configured. Now the next step is we want to mount this as a Windows Drive letter uh, so that we can access it through Windows Explorer. So I'm going to click Q to quit and I'm going to type NSSM install because we're creating a service now. NSSM install. You can name this service anything you want. I'm going to call it rclone underscore G drive and enter. I will specify the rclone executable path. And we're going to give arguments. Uh, so this is where we define our uh, command that we want. We want our service to run every time the computer starts. So we're going to call mount. We our remote is called G drive. So we're going to call G drive and then colon space and then the drive letter that we want to assign. So I'm going to click H. I want it to be named as H colon. And then dash dash config. And then the path of the config, which is your person app data percent roaming our clone our clone dot conf. So this is the file. I'm going to go to security, copy the location here. And let's go back. I'm going to quote, paste, 
click on details, call it our clone underscore drive. We can go to shutdown tab, do it 15,000, click on install service, and you're going to see it's installed successfully. And then we can go to our services. We will see our clone underscore drive here. The new service was created. Click on start service. Might can it can take some time because it needs to authenticate, but once you click start, it should start in about 15 to 20 seconds. And as you can see, it's running. So now I can click on this PC, go to my H drive, and I have full access. So like and subscribe, comments if you'd like to see more. And thank you for watching.